Hi, this is Monica. Welcome back to my channel, Suds and Bees. In today's video, we will be making this adorable candy cane candle. For this candy cane candle, um, I've used the jar of uh, Gerber, which I find them really cute, and I, and I thought it would be the perfect size and the perfect shape for a candy cane. Now, I don't have any kids, but I do like eating Gerber. I love the banana flavor ones. So I like to reuse um, all the glass bottles and turn them into candles. For this candle, I have used Joy Wax. Uh, the reason I selected Joy Wax for this candle is because I am using part candy cane fragrance oil and part pe peppermint. So I like the way Joy Wax uh, really grabs onto the essential oils and they won't fade away. For my wick, I'm using an Eco 2. Uh, because this is a uh, one and a half inch circumference, but it goes down to two inches. So this is the perfect wick that won't burn uh, your jar. The top, um, I actually spray paint the top because it's green with letters, so I didn't want it to show through the, through the cloth. Um, and I uh, hot glued some cloths that I have and hot glued this uh, little Christmas wire. And so it makes a cute little gift. So come on, let's go make it. Okay, so to make my my candy cane candle, um, I want to make it a little bit different. I want to make it, you know, diagonally like like a candy cane. Uh, you don't have to do this. You can just make it uh, vertical, so it's a lot easier. I just wanted a little bit of a challenge. So I have put my container inside a blue tape cardboard circle. You know, whatever you can find, I added a napkin there to, to give it more support so I can be at an angle. Um, I will be taping my wick with blue tape as, and taking it off and on as I go. That's, what I'm gonna, that's how I'm gonna keep my wick in, in place. Um, I'm going to melt my wax, my red, my white and my red in these metal containers. Um, and then I'm going to pour them in here 20 grams at a time and add my fragrance here and just keep remelting it. Uh, the reason being is because these have uh, a longer spout, so that's going to make it easier for me to um, pour it in diagonally. And also, these can't take the heat like these can, so it just makes it easier to transfer them back and forth. Um, if you're not going to do that, I do recommend that um, you melt your at least your red in this format because that'll help you keep the same uh, red um, shade of red for your candle, so you can have a consistency on your color, and that way you you can you don't have to keep you know you don't want one to be light red and dark red and so on. So I'm gonna go ahead and melt my waxes, and I'll be back. I'm going to measure 20 grams. We are at 145, which is a nice temperature. So we're going to pour our first one. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and let that set and I'll come back and do the rest. Okay, so my white has pretty much set. Um, I have melted the red. Ooh, I have melted the red here. Don't touch that when it's hot. I don't think I'm going to put a whole drop because this is pretty strong. I'm going to be adding red, dark pink liquid dye from Lone Star. I think I may just want to. And the way you test it is you just uh, put a drop on your parchment paper. Okay, so we are at 186. I'm going to pour 20 grams real quick. Add 2 grams of fragrance. And the reason I'm adding my fragrance in here is because I don't want to keep 
heating them up over and over where um, I'm going to burn it. Let this sit and come and do the white. And I'll go ahead and speed up the process for the rest of it. Okay, now we're gonna do our last color. So we want our last color to be leveled. Okay, so now we're going to work on the lid. Um, I spray painted the lid white because they are green. You can see some of the green here, but it's okay. And they have a lot of writing on it. So just spray paint it. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. Like This is not very pretty because we're going to cover it with... Um, these are tea bags that I have, and I just cut them. Um, if you have the cloth, it's fine. Um, cheese cloth with the work will work too, but I feel like cheese cloth kind of shreds a little bit too much. So we're going to put them like so, like that, and then we'll cut around it. So first let's glue the first one, and we're going to glue it with a glue gun. Okay, so we're going to put our glue gun, just glue a little bit, and go ahead and be careful because it's hot. So now I have these guys. Um, you can get these at the Dollar Tree. Uh, they come in various colors. They come in a pack like this. Okay, so now we want to grab this guy like this. Grab the middle of this. And we want to start gluing there. And you want to twist them. That's why I like these because they're like wires. And you can twist them. Okay, now we're going to grab, we're going to cut, turn this guy around. So we made the top. Here we have the finished candle. As you can see, it's all nice like a candy cane. And put in our top. And this is what it looks like. So we just made candy cane candle. Thank you for watching. See you next time.